just taking the trailer off this forgot to unclip this and it's swiveled that thing round there and it makes it look like the bumper's knackered but it's not it just needs that shoveling back round oh this is the osr that was flooded it's quite a bit behind so i'm just spraying now some of the mayweed that's hiding in the bottom of it off and hopefully then we can go on to some barley later on if the wind stays down but I'm quite pleased with it to be honest it looks well and i think it's probably got hold of some fertilizer the wheat last year couldn't get hold of because of the flood flooded here a little bit longer so that's why it's a bit a bit sparse there there's a her there does it see me yeah it's see me I've been spraying this field. I hope you can see past the reflection. And if you look now, but there's a distinct line there where the crop's higher and it's starting to come into flower. That must be a drain and it's like rooted deeper. It's got some subsoil that's come up when the drain's been put in. But it's obviously um, got more nutrition in it than the bits either side of it. You see? You can really see it by eye here. Can't really get the reflection, can you? But yeah, it goes right, right across there, see? And then a little bit that way. Obviously, if you think for thousands of years or hundreds of years, the topsoil's been, been, been farmed, if you will, the subsoil, nothing ever gets down that deep, perhaps. But when you put a drain in and it all gets tumbled up, that's when it gets hold of it. They used to dig like marl pits, which was like a kind of clay, and then they'd spread that on the field as well, and it was just like, give it a bit of a boost so uh, that's obviously what's going on here mm. <coughs> pigeons I hate pigeons I need to put the air on on here don't I <coughs> to be honest there's probably I don't know 100 to 200 there maybe which is a lot smaller flock than we've been getting in other years mainly probably because they've managed to reduce the numbers by 30,000 last summer I think though last week they shot 850 on four OSR fields around here just in this field now it's a bit chewed by the pigeons and like the wet weather's just really making it struggle you can see how wet the soil is there like, I don't know, nearly rotting away. A bit of a shame. The rest of the field's not too bad. Could it be the wet weather or could it be club root? It's a bit mushy, them roots. Thinking about it, I think when I sprayed this field with curb, it just, this rain cloud come out of nowhere just after I'd finished I remember coming home and it just the, the sky just broke and it absolutely tipped it down so I just wonder whether it's washed the curb into the deeper than it should have been and it's gone into the, the roots of the OSR it's a bit weird but the field's very very patchy you can see a line here where the headland's been sprayed and then this bit's dying off basically Just quickly washing out now on this stubble field and then I'm going to go and start spraying some barley. So I just want to rinse out the wash tank on the last field and then now I'm just rinsing out some clean water through it just to make sure there's nothing left in the lines that might damage the barley plants. We got a couple of burrings gone on our disc so Joe at Joe's lent us his disc so Andrew's gone and picked them up with the zeri on so he's going to go past in a minute so we'll get a video of him going past because it looked pretty cool roaring away. I can hear it coming. Hear it. Oh, there's a bike in the way. I oh, there's not. The road's clear. He's stuck behind it though. Don't! Oh. Does look a beast. Managing to overtake it now.
Now, if you were that bike with that tractor behind you and then a queue of cars behind the tractor, do you not think you'd think, I'm holding this tractor up and them cars could whiz out round that tractor and not know I'm here and knock me off? Because that is what normally happens when we're driving along and we're stuck behind a cyclist. Loads of cars come up behind us, think it's us that are driving slow, overtake us, cut in when there's normally something coming towards us, don't realise there's a bike there and nearly wipe them out. And everyone ends up having to slam on and they're just lucky to be alive. Now, I've mentioned this in the past. I've even got chalk and drawn on the wall. You can go back and find a video for it. And a load of cyclists agree with me. And then a few got really angry about it because generally most people on the bike, especially on a Sunday, are out for leisure. Whereas we're working. We're trying to beat the weather. We're trying to get some ground ready for drilling beans. Most tractors aren't out there for leisure. They're actually doing something important. So if you are, are on a bike and you have got a tractor stuck behind you, just have a think of the position that you've put yourself in, that if a car overtakes, it won't know you're there because they can't see you because tractors are massive. Just going to fix this before I forget and go back out spraying. Can that cat pretending to be a stone? That's better now anyway. You won't believe it, I've just been stuck behind that guy on his bike there. And um, he pulled over to let me pass, but he pulled over in the gateway, I wanted to turn in. Chance of that. Eh? Not sure what's happening, but there's something on fire there on the golf club, it looks like the trees. At least they can't set fire to them beans that we drilled the other day. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Mega birthday bumper. Um, we'll come back to them in a minute, but Fred Tuck, George Sharp, there might be two Georges, I'm not sure. Dime, Diamond Gary, I'm not I'm really sorry, no idea how you pronounce that, it might be an Irish name. Uh, Wayne and Lucy, Wayne's 44, Lucy's 20, Brian Walsh is on there, Richard Tom Price is 32, Fran's 19, second time on the birthday bumper, George is 16, Mike Carr's 60, big 6 0, Kelly White, or Wright, sorry, is 49, Alana Burn is 7. Julian Swinkles is on there. We've got Connor Norris is 36 and Lorraine, I'm not sure if it's your birthday or if you put it on, it's a bit more confusing. And Harry McLaughlin, I think, is on there. Now, so, his life gym is not, not as we know it. Trevor and Alex Thompson did this. So last night we were at 29,000. Well now, because of them guys, we are now at 30,119 pound, absolutely amazing. So I started doing the birthday bumper with donations only in a, in a way to try and cut down the numbers that I was doing because it was taking up quite a bit of time in the videos. Now it still takes up quite a bit of time because it is still a popular item. But in the, in the last 12 months, we've raised over 30,000 pounds for the Air Amazon. I mean, just think if you were to organize a charity night thing or something, You'd be lucky if you could raise a couple of grand. But well, we've nearly done not quite one a, one a week, but we've kind of done one every sort of like 11, 12 days. We've, we've raised a thousand pounds. So that's amazing. Thank you. And thanks to, I'm sure the people that have to use the air ambulance to rescue them will be thankful as well that we're raising that money. So we'll keep the total running. That seems to be the consensus. And we'll see where it gets to. I think I started on the 28th. Some people think I started yesterday. I'm not sure, but either way, we've done 30 grand in a year. But will it be 60 next year? Will it be 70? Who knows? Anyway, um, Andrew has been out with his area on with a disc on and Adam has got some footage of it. So here it is. Anyway, he's back at the yard now, ready to do a bit more tomorrow. Have you ever wondered what happens to a can of iron brew if you run over it with a road roller? I always have. Apparently it's made of iron. Let's see what happens.
Well, it's pretty flat, that, isn't it? A couple of mil. So, anyone else got any ideas of things that we could run over with a road roller? Let me know in the comments. Specifically, things that are going to explode, go bang, or like really crunch. Anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, click like. Don't forget as well, the hats and the hoodies are in stock on the website and make far better Easter gifts than Easter eggs that make kids happier active. So everyone eats too much chocolate anyway at Christmas and Easter. So you're better with merchandise. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, click like. That'd be great. Actually, sorry, one last thing. Don't forget the Real Country File is also out on a Sunday. So there's a link below to that if you want to watch that as well.